Hello, I'm Tyranimator. I'm the doctor of Wombology. And I'm Max MDM. And we're your friendly neighborhood shut in. Okay, so. This is an interesting story. Okay, so we, we originally recorded this. The video file messed up for like the first 20 minutes until we took a pizza break, came back. So I had to re record the intro to this game on a different file. Now we're in a. Long story short, we're in a hotel room. I got the microphone. I got a brand new microphone, and this is our third time trying to recommentate over this because the MacBook keeps on crashing. Let's hope that this works now. Because I swear to God, I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> Sorry, we're not going to do any commentary because right now, because we're just I'm a saying, little right. anxious here. Yeah. Well, more specifically, Max is a bit angry but that, that we keep having to record the commentary over the same video. So I'm just a little anxious here. Okay, you know what? I'll just read the text. Why do we need to read the text? No, because <laughs> it's part of video game dialogue. Don't you understand? It's video game logic. I'm not oh. sure everyone can read English language pretty well. Well, at least have you seen them. Let's Players uh, um, follow um, follow uh, along uh, with uh, the uh, audience? Uh, they do uh, it. Oh, uh, shut up. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies of the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Ooh. Ah. The, to the toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. Ooh. Ah. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, of course it never is. <laughs> Damn right. It, that was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. You mean Haley's Comet? No, that's 37 years or whatever. <laughs> By the way, it's not STDs. No. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever it is, he seems Wee! to be excited. Yeah. And Mario's probably the most excited I have ever seen him in a Mario game. Uh. Now, just to be fair, Super Mario Galaxy, in all of our opinions, may be one of the best Mario games, Mario games in the franchise to date. I'm I mean, I'm sure there are going to be more better ones in the future, but as of now, it stands as one of our favorites. Yeah. Partially. A big reason for it, I guess, is uh, the uh, level design to just the level really design, the the color, everything yeah. just makes it seem so well done. Yep. Yes, it's so beautiful. Though uh, there are a few uh, head scratchers throughout the Mario lore. Yeah. For instance, where's the fucking military? Yeah. I mean, you think there'd be like armed patrols in the streets, watchtowers? I mean, at yeah. least a wall or something. Yeah. What? But nothing that has happened yet. Nothing's happened. It's, we haven't it's all gotten happy. The we haven't gotten the military. Yes. They <laughs> and cutscene. And everything and goes to probably, shit. And this is probably the most destructive you will ever see Bowser ever do. Yeah. Like he literally decides, I ain't fucking around anymore. I've got. Four got, ships with he's me, got four and airships. I'm I mean, going to blow think, you, have, you up. I mean, you got to think, he probably has a pretty big criteria going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a and galaxy to take over. He's sort of crystallizing a bunch of toads. He's kind of overcompensating for something. Also. Yeah, probably. But it, it is probably the one time that I actually liked it, because... Also, this scene is very reminiscent of Sonic, um, Sonic 06. Let's why, not, why did you let's, running? Let's not talk about Sonic 06. Let's, let's be happy. It's Can we fun, talk about Sonic game. Boom? No, not Sonic Boom either. Let's not talk about Sonic... Let's, talk about, let's not talk about Bang Sonic games. Let's talk about good Mario games. Okay, this is happy, except... Everything's happy except for the fact that Bowser is destroying a bunch of shit. I have to ask, why didn't Peach run? Princess Peach. Where does she run off to? <laughs> Did you see that? My yeah. New galaxy. yeah. Think he was fantasizing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you probably don't read the, read the this dialogue. Over. Of course it's always over. Hey, you notice that the bad guy always attacks during a big peaceful festival. Where would he and get then a... what do aliens have to do with this? Where would he get a UFO? Yeah. The flying <laughs> ships, I, I understand, but and why the UFO? 
and Peach just looked into the silent beyond and it blinked. Yes. Uh -huh. And now, no, Mario can't do anything about Crystal. Yeah, Mario's not going to even bother with the no, Toads. He's or just going either of the Toads, for some Crystal? reason, yeah. because he can't do anything. Do you know? Uh, probably is nothing. All right. And he all and he arrived too late. Yes. Man, that UFO took its time. Yeah. Yes, it did. It's gonna wait till Mario's at the perfect point. And even then, Mario doesn't do anything here. Yeah, he's just standing there. Now this I thought was very creative yes. when I first saw this. Yeah. Taking the entire castle with him. Not just Peach. Yes. But, oh no, that means he took those two toads with him too. Oh yes. no, you monster. Uh, he's not a monster for take kidnap Princess Peach, but the toads. Oh god. God. Oh god. It wasn't bad enough they wanted to take the princess. No, you gotta take those wor worthless toads too. Oh, well, actually, no, one at a cape. He was cool. Yeah. Yep. Where do you think Bowser finds the budget for all this? Amazon. They. They. they the, the, you need to tell me if I, if I search flying saucer. Flying pirate ships and army of evil. You'd find it on Amazon. Correct. For a discount? Maybe if you're a good little boy. Used? I hope it's used. Used God's... UFO. It's better than used anything else. Well, you wouldn't exactly want to use a used condom. That's sort of where I didn't want to go to, but you did it. So long, enjoy your flight. Well, well, you, you, saw, well, you, want, well you want to read the dialogue where you sort of hear the voices say, yeah. kind of saying it. And Mario just stands there because you couldn't have just I mean. dodged it. You decided, it hell, blast. I'm going to just take it. Mario's blasting off again. <laughs> but thankfully, a Luma came out to yes. save the day. Mm-hmm. So now we're actually going to get our first real gameplay in a few minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Windows XP. I mean, uh, Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Finally, you're awake. Let's so play. Fucking fluffy. Must catch bunny. Must touch. Must pet, must rub. Why? I, I, I hate. No, pick personally, up the bunny. Pick up the bunny. No. Personally, yeah. I hated these levels. Oh, I said, Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> if you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Aw, why can't you just okay. tell me now? Okay, so there are about three different places where the bunnies can be. And as soon as you find one of them, they'll tell you the location of another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One is in one of the craters. It's and not it's in neither. That not either of those. One of them is in one of the grass areas, and one is in the pipe. There he is. <laughs> I want to capture him so that I can put his head on my mantelpiece. <laughs> or over my fireplace, too. And over my fireplace, too. I happen to own a rabbit, so... I kind of find that statement offensive. You caught me. I Aw, oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Thank you for giving me that. Okay, I remember when we originally did the recording of this, I was chasing one of the bunnies and ran through some grass and found the other bunny. Yeah. And then, like, when I says, I knew I should have hit it in the grass. And then... And the other bunny was just standing there. Yeah. You know, I think it's been a while, but yeah, I remember of. that. I know there are later levels where, like, the bunnies can be absolutely a bitch to catch. Oh, oh, there's the other one. Well, no. okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me, for showing me where your friend is. I should, I should have been, been in the well, grass. Uh, well, uh, how convenient. Well, it was nice <laughs> of him. It was nice of him to uh, wait, fit, to wait, what? to wait for you to come back here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There we if go. I didn't catch you. You, you caught, caught me. me. This fall is supposed to teach you how, how spear walking works. I should have hidden in the grass. Because... 
Oh, pe it was sort of you. It was sort yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, this game is sort of unique where you run on on like round planets and yeah. not just flat areas. So truth be told, uh, the physics are kind of disorienting at times. They can be, oh, but the I still like the atmosphere. I, it's, yeah. I, I mean, it's colorful. It's I can't believe I let bright. myself get caught. Yeah. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Mm -hmm. No, we already don't want to know about Mama Peach. No, different Mama. Oh, okay, good. There she is up there. Yep. Yeah. A character that I am so glad they've been starting to use in the franchise more. Yeah, I really Sorry like Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. Um, there's a connection here in deep space far from your um, lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, well, we got to talk to this guy. Well, we don't have Mom to. Mom is but... waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. Please do as Mom asks. Anything she asks? God. Not that. You got to think. She probably hasn't seen another human for a couple hundred for a, for a long time. Does she even know what a human That's looks not... like? <laughs> oh, I nothing like a she... crash course in anatomy. Oh, and nothing on. like... Oh, I assume she knows I've what human looks like. I've been watching you from like. here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. I assume she knows what humans look like since she is a, she is a human. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect I the cosmos. To, uh, jokes and perverse aside, uh, Rosalina actually is a save awesome special character. one, you'll need the yeah. power to travel through space. Mm -hmm. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Yes, <laughs> penetrate me. No, nope. penetrate me. <laughs> no, he's just hiding under Mario's hat. Oh, I can spin in a circle now. Yay! <laughs> Disaster has struck us. Just as it has visited you with Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Star. Don't you wonder? What yeah, that poor Luma goes through under that hat. Mm. It's just his hair. Mm. Exactly. Like the. So how did? That's what I'm saying. Luma, Luma penetrated him. <laughs> Why do I hang out with you two? Because you have nobody else to hang out with? Fair enough. Shape to spin into things that look breakable. Like that. Oh, you mean like those toads I could have saved earlier? I always did the launch star thing. Yeah. Those are great. That's great. This is sort of a short intro. Hi little there. Bit. Good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, I always found the black hole kind of confusing, though. I mean, there, there wouldn't be anything around the black hole. Yeah, mm. it's sort of mm -hmm. dark. And, yeah, we think about... Oh. I mean, a oh. black hole is essentially, uh... It's essentially, a pure... You're one additional Mario. It's, it's yes, pure it's not a life, it's a Mario. Yes. A black hole is pure gravity... Like, not even light can escape. Mm hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We yep. got the uh, launch star. Well, I would love if someone could make a real functioning launch star. Just saying. Yeah. Elon Musk, make it happen. Hopefully. Get I mean, me out of here. Best, One of those enemies should next, have to keep. Yep, uh, it'd be yep. the best. It'd be the biggest thing since porn. All right. All right. Sh Shake right, them get, around. Get the key. One of the enemies has it. It's that one right there. We can tell because he looks different from all the other ones. Yep. We're not discriminating Goombas. What? We're not racist against Goombas. <laughs> but we're racist against other except, for, except for the brown ones. <laughs> They're all brown. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'll I transform get into now. the Slink Star. Just jump into me after I transform! transform. Now, personally, I wasn't. A Is fan it dead of now? Start. I wasn't personally a fan of the Slink Star. I was more like the Launch Star. Yeah. Just spin enemies, then run into them when they're starting to boot them. Oh, it's a, which pretty much just tells it how to beat the key. He is held by that guy right there. Mm -hmm. You also hit those things on beside it to sort of help sh shake the ground. But yep. also, don't trust that touch that electricity stuff. Cause well, it, it shocks you. Well, of course it shocks you. It's electricity. It will... If you get shocked too many times, it will kill you and you will die. Just like in life. Yeah. Right. Hurry, down here. I 
I've always wondered, what does Peach see in Mario? I mm -hmm. only other human. That's a great start. We have Unless to say Luigi. It. Nobody likes Luigi. Poor Luigi. Mm -hmm. Hey, Luigi got his uh, own game. Yeah. Yep. I liked uh, it. Yeah. Okay, so they're using this power star for something. We just have to f stop this terrible machine. machine. Now this by is touching the switches. By touching these switches. Fascinating. <laughs> Oh, and it got shocked. Yep. But you make up for it with coins. coins. Coins regain health. Yeah. Which yeah. is... Nope. Yeah. Also, enemies can also step on them, too. So... Turn off the flip switch. It's on the floor. Shut really? Down, so what the fuck have we been doing? <laughs> one last one. Here we go. Right. And now uh, we get our first official star, star. Mm -hmm. right off the bat, might I add. Yeah. Here we go. Now I love the animation at the yep. end for this. Mm -hmm. you Victory! Found a grand star! Yay. And we won't get a grand star until many levels later. Yeah. So now we get to the real portion of the game, which is the help yeah. of this game. Yep. And I, I, I personally, uh, I personally uh, am indifferent to the two uh, to the to this versus the sequels, but I do like the creativity of the original of the observatory a bit better. Yeah, I still like these episodes. The Starship the Mario level. and Super Galaxy Mario Galaxy Two is not as great. It could have been yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm not saying Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a bad game. I'm just saying this is a better game for me if I want to yeah. play this. Game. I just sort of view Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 as different volumes of the same game. Yep. So, so we gotta start and coins. Yeah. And start bits. And discover new, new galaxy, galaxy. Which is the terrace. Yeah. Oh dome, that's the terrace. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, but maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Hmm. Yeah, I can see they're already having a good time. Yeah. Oh, thank you for saving the uh, Grand Star. Right. These star people are my family. It means so much to me. And plus, I've never met another human in my life. Yep. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years. But we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. Uh, how old is she? A strange force has mm. latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source power stars. It's kind of a sad story when you think yeah. about it. Yeah. Our ship has lost uh, power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Mm. Those who took your special one uh, picked up the power stars. Oh, gee, I wonder who it could have been. Yeah, it's, and discover the power to cross the universe. Not good. Mm -hmm. Please. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. <laughs> and there's a chance we could use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Oh, I believe this is where we this, they, pe, 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 this is where we pick up from yeah. the previous recording session. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you there. See ya. See ya. All right, we're back. No, we're back. Sorry, we uh, took a break. But but the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. And Mario's like, duh. <laughs> you ever wonder if Mario will, uh, at some point in retirement, start a security firm? It's like, it's like, you know, I wish. Uh, no, Mario should really like be paying his bills. It's like, okay, I rescue the princess. Check. Rescue the princess a thousand times. Check. <laughs> you, think, you, think he'll, you think he'll, like, get any tax breaks? Probably. He's done every job except plumber. <laughs> no. Uh, 
True Mario 3D World, you actually did fix the pipe. Mm -hmm. Yes, one pipe. So they pipe. did do their job. Yes, he did one pipe. <laughs> Welcome, this job acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon in distant galaxies. Once the slow transforms into a blue uh, pulse or a pulse star, you can dive into those faraway galaxies. Simply point your... Okay. That's, That's the weirdest looking 